Venice is a city in the northeast of Italy and is situated on a group of 118 small islands that are separated by canals and linked by over 400 bridges. The islands are located in the shallow Venetian lagoon. Venice is by far one of the most magical and romantic cities in Europe. A weekend in Venice will feel like escape from reality with time spent on gondolas and exploring the maze-like canals of the city. In this video, I will talk about various things that you can do to enhance your Venetian experience. How to get around the city, some travel hacks, places to visit, things to do, what to eat and drink and at the end, I will share some bonus tips that will surely make your trip easier so make sure that you stay tuned till the end venice is well connected through its waterways the peperetto is the public transport inside venice the water buses are going up and down to the grand canal and to the surrounding islands it is a perfect transportation in venice if you need to go from one point to the other Single journey will cost you 7 euro 50 cents, but if you buy a one day pass, it will cost around 20 euros, a two day pass 30 euros. Water taxi is also an option to travel around Venice, but it is quite expensive. A single journey costs around 100 to 150 euros. Venice is a group of islands connected by bridges. You will come across a number of bridges that have staircase. So please do not pack heavy luggage because you would have to cross a number of bridges with those heavy luggage and it would be very difficult to reach the hotel. Take a morning stroll around San Marco Square which will be an incredible experience to witness such a vast space and stunning architecture without tourists. Do not miss the night views of the places as the city looks even more beautiful while sleeping. Be aware of the pickpockets at the train stations as well as the bus stations and for any emergency you can dial 112. There are 122 public fountains scattered throughout the city. The water from these fountains is safe to drink and completely free. Toilets are not free. However, if you go in a cafe and order some coffee and snacks, you might use it for free. St. Mark's Basilica is the most important religious building in Northern Italy. Ornate details, sculptures and artwork at the front door. It is most beautiful painted work of art. St. Mark's Square is the most famous piazza, meaning square. Surrounding the piazza is a series of ornate buildings with three sides framed in arcades, beneath which are fashionable shops and even more fashionable cafes. This square is really the perfect place to start your tour and tick off some of its most impressive sites. Venice is a home of famous San Marco Bell Tower which was built in the 1100s and rebuilt in the 1900s after it collapsed. The best view of the Venice can be seen from top of the tower. Doge's palace is simply stunning and has lacy exterior and arc design made up of white stone. Inside the palace is just as impressive and there is a series of immensely decorated rooms that have original details, furnitures and artwork. The Bridge of Sighs is an important historic landmark which connects Doji's palace and prison. The view from the Bridge of Sighs was the last view of Venice that convicts saw before their imprisonment and punishment. And that's how it got its name. Venice has literally hundreds of canals, but the largest of all is the S-shaped Grand Canal. 
consider walking along the sections of canal, admiring the buildings that line it and watching the busy water traffic of Venice. Rialto Bridge was the first bridge on Grand Canal. Originally, it was a wooden bridge that collapsed. After this, a stone bridge was built. The detail, symmetry and design of the bridge is simply admiring. There are series of shops on the bridge that sell souvenirs. Basilica di Santa Maria della Salute takes the center stage on the Grand Canal. The exterior is decorated with the four statues of the Apostles. The interior gives the impression of great space and the hexagonal design. San Giorgio Maggiore is a church located on the smaller separate island that is not connected to the main canals of Venice. Murano is a picturesque island filled with homes painted in every color of the rainbow. I have made a whole separate video and you can watch by clicking the link above. Murano is another island which is famous for its glass blowing. You can watch a full video that I will link up. Gondola ride is a certainly a must do and a ride one will never forget. A ride costs 80 euros for 6 person and 100 in the evening after 7. I suggest to share the ride through app which I will discuss at the end of this video. Perhaps the best way is to simply get lost for a few hours wandering through its enchanting little streets. At every turn you will see something worth remembering. Did you know that narrow street of Venice is called Cara Verisco is just 53 cm wide. While roaming the streets you will find many beautiful performances. I have made a separate video for glass making in Murano Island. Gelato is an Italian word for ice cream and there are hundreds of options to choose from. You have to try gelato, otherwise your trip will be incomplete. You will find many people enjoying spritz in the evening which is an Italian wine based cocktail. I will try to link all the recommendations in the description so do not forget to check them out. Chicchetti are small snacks or side dishes served in the restaurants in Venice. There are many seafood options available in Venice as I am a vegetarian so I survived on pasta and sliced pizza which was available in many shops. Now it's time to share some bonus tips. Make sure that you have these apps installed before traveling. Identify your location on the map even when you do not have internet connection so that you do not get lost in the city. This app acts as a personal wallet of tickets in Venice. Through this app you can buy tickets for museums, a guided tour as well as vaporative tickets and passes. 
My Art Guide Venice is your ideal companion if you love to visit art exhibitions in Venice. This app provides practical information such as the opening hours, price as well as location on a map. If you love to know more about the art history of the city, this app is perfect for you. It feels like walking around with your personal art historian who will answer all your difficult questions. This is the official app of public transport that runs Vaporetto and the land buses. Keyshare app is extremely useful in sharing expensive gondola rides as well as water taxis. You can use this app to locate public fountains as well as toilets in Venice. You can leave your heavy luggage in the drop area. The cost range from 5 to 7 euros per bag for each 24 hours after checking. Don't forget to check the description. I will link all the necessary details there. If you like this video then don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching. Bye.